Hey, what's going on, y'all? Today we have a nice full body workout. I know it was supposed to yesterday, but we're gonna do it today. So today's workout is called one of one. The protocol is one minute on, so one minute of work, and then you have one minute off or break. So we have four rounds of each of these exercises and also a 30 second rest between rounds. So again, you complete one round, you rest 30 seconds, complete the next, 30 seconds, so on and so forth. So without further ado, the first exercise that we have are plank builds. All right, so on your elbows, on the elbow plank, come it up. All right, back and forth. Then we're coming to our squats, body weight squats. Again, executing. I don't want you guys to drop below parallel. There's no need, so we're just going to drop to about a right angle and come back up. We have a Bulgarian a lateral hop. So let me break that down. Bring my handy dandy chair. So if you have anything that you could place on the floor, it would be better because it'll give you a visual of where you want to be. So you're going to place your leg, elevate it, and the hop just comes from you going back and forth. All right? So now moving on to our push-ups. Again, all of these exercises are modifiable. So if you need to do them on your knees or any which way we can, so we're here chest to ground, and back up. Coming on to my favorite burpees. Again, you can do these any which way you want. Uh, but so and jump. All right, so a shoulder plank oblique crunch here in the shoulder plank position, bringing our knees to our elbows. All right, um, coming down to our wall sit. Same thing, let's get 90 degree action pressing our back into the wall, especially the lower back, all right? And just holding it out like that. Moving on, we have decline push-ups. Feet elevated, making sure we're keeping our body in a straight line, pushing to the floor, and then coming back up. All right, Whew. I got tired out here. All right, coming now to our pike toe touch. So in our push-up position, but the feet are wide like a rectangle. We're just reaching back and touching our toes. All right, reaching back and touching our toes. Next thing we have, and the last thing we have are glute bridges. You can do these either with your feet flat on the floor or feet on your heels. Um, I prefer the heels version just because of the hamstring activation. And all we're gonna do is drive our hips to the ceiling and then back down. Drive, pushing through the heels, raising the hips up like somebody's trying to pull you, and then back down, all right? So that concludes 